What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Breaks. Today uh, I've been promising you guys to do a video um, about grading and uh, I think after after reading a lot of stuff that's been going on recently and, and, and uh, with, with the pandemic and everything, um, we'll see what, uh, we'll see how this plays out. But I wanted to go ahead and at least submit something and do something in terms of grading. So um, these are the cards that I am submitting and uh, uh, we'll, we'll kind of look at each one of them individually and uh, just kind of um, see what, what, uh, why I selected these, uh, in particular, as well as, uh, who I went with for the grading. So, uh, I'll start off with who I went with, uh, for the grading. Um, and I'm, I'm probably gonna get a lot of crap for this, but I don't really care. Um, I went with SGC for a couple reasons. Number one, uh, the price, um, is $10 per grade, uh, to get each card graded. Number two, um, they, from what I can see, their turnaround times are pretty low. It's like 20 days for the, the $10 grading is 20 day, 20 day turnaround. I don't know if that's still happening right now because of the pandemic, but, um, either way it, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then number three, uh, these are for my personal collection. So these are mine. I'm not going to sell them. Um, SGC doesn't really have a whole lot in terms of like, uh, Resale value, obviously PSA uh, is still king in terms of resale value, uh, and so is um, uh, BGS, so or, or Beckett. Um, but both of those services are taking really long. Both of those services cost twice as much. Uh, Beckett, you can get, or sorry, PSA, you can get down to a $10 submission price if you submit like 50 plus cards, I believe it is, in a bulk submission, and then you have to sign up with them, be part of their club, and all this other stuff. Uh, SGC just seemed to have less hoops to jump through in terms of uh, in terms of their pricing, so um, I went with them, uh, as well as uh, the quick turnaround, uh, and as well as the fact that these are uh, going to be for my personal collection. Uh, and I kind of like their the um, the slab uh, it looks kind of cool. The black slab I think is especially going to look good on the Skybox uh, Jordan that I sent in. So. Um, another thing, this is my very first time ever submitting anything for um, for grading, so I am not a professional grader, I don't know, I've done the same thing that anybody else would do when they're trying to do something for the first time, which is do as much research as possible and uh, do as much digging as possible. So um, I did a little bit of digging, obviously the three main things, right, surface, edges, and centering, as well as corners. Uh, I would count corners kind of in the same realm as edges, but, um, so let's take a look at this Jordan, this uh, first one, um, don't mind the uh, lint, it's on the outside of the penny sleeve, um, I've already wiped all these down, um, but, um, you know, the edges on this one, uh, were pretty sharp, um, I think, um, no real whitening in terms of, uh, you know, they're all pretty sharp edges, um, the back seems to be pretty good. Uh, the edges seem to be pretty good on this one. It seems to be relatively nicely centered. Um, and the back seems to be relatively well centered. It's slightly off left to right on the back. Um, but again, I'm keeping this one in the collection. I really just want to get it slabbed and uh, get it back as soon as possible. So that's that's um, that's that one there. This is a 90 Fleer, 9091 Fleer Jordan. Again, on this one, centering's pretty good. Uh, again, same thing. Uh, top to bottom looked really good. And the back. Now, here's the, the thing about these in the back. Uh, the centering, was it this one? Actually, you know what? Sorry, my bad. It was the, um, the 91, 92 Fleers that were kind of weird. But both of these are 90, uh, 9091 Fleers uh, that I pulled on, on the channel. You can go back and look at um, uh, the videos in which I pulled these. Uh, they're all pretty good uh, in terms of shape. Uh, they're really decent in terms of centering. I think this one's probably really nicely centered, top to bottom, left to right. And then on the back, it's kind of hard to judge uh, in terms of centering. I would assume that you would go off of... Um, let me get a little pointer here. I would assume that you would go off of where this ends and then the card ends versus where this ends and then the card ends. And if that's the case, it's it's very, very slightly off. 
uh, left to right. I mean, you can kind of use these points as a reference also, and these seem to be pretty good. Um, a little fatter on this side, slightly, slightly fatter on this side. Uh, but again, I mean, the corners were pretty crisp, the edges were pretty crisp, and then the, the surface uh, had no marks on it. Same thing for this one. Um, edges were pretty good, surface was pretty good, uh, relatively flawless. Um, and then again, uh, the back of this one just seemed to be really centered. Um, now here's uh, 90, uh, 8990 hoops. Yeah, 8990 hoops. Uh, Akeem Olajuwon. This one again was in really good shape. Uh, edges were really good. Corners were really good. Um, surface was, from what I saw, flawless. Um, and then the back of this one, the centering uh, seemed to be really good as well. Um, so I have about three or four, um, Akeem Elijah ones that are this nice. Um, I'm going to submit these through, submit this one through SGC. I'm going to do another round. I have enough actually of each card, um, to where I can do, uh, a submission, you know, for BGS, a PSA and, um, and a, a SGC for all of these. So, um, I think I'm going to do that. That's now that I'm thinking about it now that we're talking about it. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. So, um, anyway, th these are these were submitted through uh, SGC already. Their online sy system is pretty good. Their online submission is really good. Uh, it's really easy. You just log in, create a login, um, put in your cards, put in the, the value of, of the card, uh, the suggested value or the, the, the raw value of the card. Um, and then it creates kind of like a little price list for you. And then, uh, like I said, it's 10 bucks a card. I think for these five cards, it was obviously $50, uh, 10 bucks a piece, and then it was $15 for shipping. Um, so I'm about to run downstairs to my printer, print out the, um, the, the invoice, and then print out the shipping label. Um, I have them already in these, um, in these uh, card savers, uh, in penny sleeves. And then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I just got a piece of cardboard, a couple pieces of cardboard. I'm going to put them in here. Uh, and then I'm going to send them off. I'm going to tape this down. Uh, I'm going to tape this down and then send these off like this. I'll put them in a bubble mailer, uh, print out the uh, shipping, um, whatever shipping uh, label that they give me and put it on a really good, good bubble mailer. Um, and then go from there. But uh, I'm really hoping that these come back. I think SGC, they have kind of the same grading all the way up to 10, uh, 10 being their best one. So this is how I'm, how I'm gonna submit them. Uh, let me go ahead and grab. So these are gonna go in here. I'll have to check, I'm not even exactly sure that this is the right way to do it, but um, I, think, uh, I think this should be okay. Uh, in terms of submitting. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, again, this is for SGC. Uh, <clears throat> it was $10 a card, 20-day uh, uh, submission turnaround, uh, which I think is cool. Um, obviously, right now, a PSA is ridiculously backed up uh, unless you pay top dollar to get it a uh, quick turnaround. And the value of these cards are not there. I mean, if we had like a one of one Zion or something like that, then I'd literally be jumping in my car and driving over to Dallas uh, and dropping it off for a one day submission. Um, but these are just personal collection cards. I mean, they, they, they could be worth a little something once they, once they get graded. Uh, I'm going to see exactly what the turnaround times are going to be. Uh, and then I'll let you guys know. I'll do a follow up once I get uh, once I get the submission back. Um, but I'll try to kind of keep you guys updated in terms of uh, uh, the process, right? So um, for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and run downstairs, print out the invoice, print out the shipping label, slap it on there, and then put it in the mail. But um, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I've been wanting to do a submission uh, a video. I've been wanting to do a submission myself. I'm gonna follow up with also a BGS and a PSA submission. I'll do a video on that one too and see kind of how the three services compare in terms of, um, you know, some of these old basketball cards, a lot of these retro cards. Some of them are really hard grades. Some of them are really easy grades. So we'll see. 
Uh, but anyway, uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you watched all the way to the end, uh, I really appreciate you. Uh, you can subscribe right there. Check out that video right there. And as always, love y'all. Peace.